Football Fan TV, this is the team of the year continuing on and we are into our centre mids. We're picking formations basically it's going to be a 4-3-3. So we're going to pick a midfield three of the best three centre midfielders um, we think this season. Um, the actual team was Benson, Heary and uh, Chris Shields. Unbelievable. Um, that was the midfield three. But uh, kind of, if we were going honourable mentions, is there anyone kind of stood out for you that you know is kind of on the fringes but not quite there yet? Yeah, me always, I was like like watching Reese McKay, Bob Sloy. Go like any time Rovers played against him, we always thought he was always caught the eye. Like he's good on the ball. He's played at a good level. He played in the Championship for Sheffield Wednesday. He played for Rangers for his team. So I'd say him, and then from like when we Rovers cap on, Dylan Watts was. He was smashing at bowls, like, and then when he came to Rovers, he just continued on in the same vein, like. So, I think those two for me, like Reese McCabe and Watts, like, would be pushing, uh, pushing Benz, and don't think he can argue with Shields. I think he's just, he's brilliant, like you know, just getting in, getting on the ball midfield, winning it back, you know, tidying it all, keeping play ticking over, like, and getting forward and passing it around, like, and then here he's just class act as well, like, but. Yeah, I would say for me anyway, based off last season, be Watts and Reese McKay would be two players that I thought were should have been there. There, uh, honourable mentions. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about yourself, Al? I have. Yeah, it's a dinner. Watts for me. I think start of the season blows. He was very good. I remember the game in Tala. Unfortunately, defeat as he ran the show in the middle of the park, and then when we signed him, I think he's just increased it. It's been excellent. He obviously, got on. Remember that memorable penalty in Dundalk for the winner. So it's great and. I know he's probably we wouldn't have him in centre mid, but I think for Graham Burke for me in there as well. Well, you could have him at the like if you're going number ten. Yeah, moving on because I think you look, you know, some of the goals he scored and you know got his move to Preston, playing for his country. I think he made us competitive. He was still playing at at Rovers and scoring for Ireland. Like I think, I think yeah, he scored in his debut. I think you know he made us competitive debut away to France, which is obviously amazing. So for me, I think obviously as well, I agree. I think Reese McCabe smashing. So, it, well, for me, I'd have Watson Burke yeah, just behind probably Shields and Hillary. So, yeah, for me, so uh, for me, I, I, I actually really, really liked. I spent a lot of time out in Daily Mount last season for games where I really liked JJ Looney. Really like him, and I really think he earned that move to you know uh, Waterford. He's, I think, if 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 he's if he's able to with with Waterford be able to dictate. Because he was just in like a deep, deep sitting kind of position, and he was just just spraying it off everywhere. I just thought he was a fabulous player. Look, he's king of Megan people as well. Um, and then kind of I don't know, other honourable mentions, I suppose. And Keith Ward, actually, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about him. Keith just... Ward. Yeah, I think I think at times yes, and at times no. I think there's times where he can re- really give the ball, and he doesn't. And there's times where. He, you know, you are looking and you go and smash the ball, and he like tips it, and the keeper saves it. And being obviously down there a good bit, you, 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 like in the media section and stuff like that, it's kind of mixed in with the fans. And he does get he does get a, a bit of a hard time, I think, off off the fans down there. I know, for me, like you just watch him. I think when he's on form, he's a super player. Like you know, in my opinion, should be at one of the. I don't like saying bigger clubs would say one of the teams that like you can say fall, bigger clubs no like say someone that trains full time like because I just think like you know when he's on form he's you know dropping in that position getting on the ball picking out passes yeah. making technically things. good and, and oh, his movement's quite good yeah I think he's just been lucky with injuries but when balls were in finishing the season off strongly he was smashing players for them, like, it, yeah. yeah Um. what about McIniff at, at Derry I know he started the season quite well um, but obviously tailored off I think that's just Derry in general though. But yeah, when he's on form, like he's he has a good season. Brilliant. Us, you know, he always does well against Rovers. So that's one thing you always remember. He always seems to score against them and tell it. Hopefully, he gets some goals and assists for us this year. So, yeah. Is there anyone else in there? Um, any Cork City players? Uh, McCormick, uh, Morrissey. Any of them kind of stand out to you? Know? I think Conor McCormick for me. Like he's just one of those players. He doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything fancy, but he so. just does his job and does it well. Like you know, breaks up play, gets on the ball, keeps play ticking over, and like. If Cork finished second, and he was their captain for long parts of the season, so like, I thought he did well. Like maybe Cork weren't at the races as, as mo- well as much as they should be, but I think he's still putting in good performances for them. Like, what are you saying? 
And I was just saying, mate, as well, I think Paul Keegan was a bit of a good man for Watford as well this middle years here. I think he'd been around with Manchester for you, like. Yeah, I think Keegan and hit the Harry partnership at the, like when they were on the form to start of the season. It was just immense for them, and then obviously he had, they had the bad run, but I think obviously he's gone to Bray now, which improved them. But I think he would probably be a bit of a mention for me as well. Okay, well, if you had to pick a a midfield three of your Easy. absolute best, uh, whether it's number ten or two sitting midfielders, doesn't matter. It's just tr- three players that play kind of they can play number ten and centre mid, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I'd go for me. I don't think you can look past Chris Shields, obviously. And for me, I'd have Dylan Watson, Graham Burke. For me, I think, obviously, I think here he's. You take off that Rovers cap, will you? No, oh, I look. I, I think here he's great, but if I'm going by, like what I've seen, obviously at the start of the season, Watson's fantastic for balls, and then with us is great, and then I don't think for me Burke in the number ten role. I don't think anyone else in the league plays better in the number ten role than him. So. Okay, um, Rob. Yeah, I think Shields is nailed on for like pretty much I'd, 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 I'd just throw it in there. He's in mine as well, yeah. Um, then for me, I'd, I'd have here, and then like Brooks is super player, but for me, like play the entire season here to get into team of the year. That's just my opinion. So I just I'd actually throw in Reese McKay, but also I go. I just thought he's. Wow, are you trying to span the works? Yeah. You no, know, just genuinely, I just think he's a great player. Like he just like he's he can get his foot on the ball. He is an eye for a pass. He. You know, did really well for the first slow. He goes captain him as well. Like so, just for well for me, it'd be Shields, Reese McCabe, and Bastian Hume. All right. Uh, for me, I will, I would go Bastian Hume, Chris Shields, and Cranbrook. I know you're not going to agree with that, but um, I just look. You can't argue what Cranbrook had done this season in terms of playing for Ireland, getting into, um. Earning the move to Preston, basically scoring while playing in the League of Ireland, said he wasn't gonna. People said he wasn't gonna do it. He got a call up ahead of Pat Huben, like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you kind of you're looking at it that way, and uh, albeit he moved, but you look at the amount of goals he scored, the amount of times he affected games, and this is for me. That's that's kind of how I look at it. Like Chris Fields obviously affected probably every game he played, and he was just so immense, and, uh, very mature performances out of him. And same thing with Bastian Harry because. I think at Limerick, I think people were questioning, was he finished, was he not? Then he comes comes back in, plays um, plays unbelievable for Waterford all season, you know. And again, when when he was out of team because of, he had a fight with John Caulfield, they struggled as well without him, you know, his creativity. He also scored a couple of worldies throughout the season as well. But uh, yeah, no, if I was to go for a, a midfield three, that would be it. Did you 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 chose pretty much the same? Like, are you at Watson there? I had Watts just ahead of Harry for me. So so Harry has two votes. Burke has two, two votes, and Chris Shields has three votes. So our midfield three is going to be, um, uh, Shields, Harry, Burke. and Burke. Sorry, Rob. No, it's you are the weakest link. <laughs> no, well, no, I was saying no. Obviously, Burke's a super player, as I said. Like I'm not denying that. You're a Rovers fan. Yeah. You know, some of the goals he scored is composed. I admire the fact that you're very neutral about it, to be fair. He's, his composure and stuff on the ball is phenomenal. Oh, but, like, but, like, you know, just for me, anyway, like, like, being the team of the year, like, you need to play the full season. That's the only reason. If he was there for the full season, I'd have him in. But, like, just based off the full season, that's why I don't have him in. So, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, I think, well, that's it now. So, all, all we have now left... So you guys keep uh, keep tuned for that. Is uh, all we have left now is um, wingers and uh, obviously strikers. But uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Would you have a different midfield three than us? Um, do you agree with Rob that the players have to play the full season to get into the squad? Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button now. And if you never want to miss a video. Click the bell for alerts. For all our other social media platforms, check out this list below. And as always, thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. When he played, um, they had a bit.